Hello everybody, Real So here in EVE Online. Uh, we're continuing on where we left off with our missions. The um, in industry career trainer, we have mission six for making mountains of molehills. I have just the thing you want. Now for some more complicated production. I want you to make me 20 units of cat booster 25. You'll need the minerals Mexilon, Pyrite, and Tritanium, which you can easily acquire by mining and reprocessing ore from Pyroxes, Plagioclase, Jaspit, or Hermaphite asteroids. Now, uh, some of those asteroids are hard to find depending on what uh, region of space you're in. Uh, like the Plagioclase will spawn in Galenti space in uh, I think it's 0.7 is when it starts spawning 0 0.8 0 0.7 here in Kaldari I believe it's pyroxies or py pyroxeries <laughs> however you say it uh, that spawns in this space and then jaspit and hermaphite hermorphite I believe that is uh, Amar and uh, Minmatar I don't know which is which though now uh, you can also just buy these minerals here from the marketplace and that's what I'm going to do for this mission uh, if you don't have the money uh, you might try to mine them yourself it takes time but I'm just explaining the overall concept of the mission uh, you've already learned enough mining that you can hunt down these uh, asteroids and there are different different asteroids spawn in different uh, security of spaces and in different regions so it's there there are plenty of sites um, I'll link one down below uh, it's called Celestis that I believe it tells you which regions they spawn in sections if not it'll be a different link down there uh, but it'll be down in the description it'll be a link to the site to check that out all right so let's see we need 20 of these cap boosters are used to boost capacitor uh, you'll see a lot of PVPers with these because uh, that's the main thing a lot of people like to do is drain the other person's capacitor because you can't fight without capacitor unless you're Minmatar because they don't use capacitor for their guns um, alright so it wants us to make these so I'll show you how to make things if you don't have the resources all right, so we're going to go ahead and accept this. All right, close it. Uh, also, be sure to, if it's been a while since you logged on and everything, make sure you have skills training. Like, I just have some random things down here. Energy grid upgrades, drones, uh, missile launchers, because I'm playing Kaldari, so Kaldari used missiles a lot. Uh, drones is just because I, I like drones. So you have to get drones three and then learn light drone operation to actually use like the hornets for the Kaldari warriors for um, Minimitar acolytes for Amar and hobgoblins for Galenti. Once you train light drone operation, I believe that's what the school's called, but once you train that uh, you can use any of those drones. You don't have to be from that specific race to use the drones or whatever you want to uh, do as a career maybe go ahead and start training up your mining that'd be over here in resource processing uh, yeah so let's see let's make sure our ship oh, we're not we're not in docking but I'm just looking yeah uh, when you start the game you get the mining laser upgrade when you open your uh, inception package uh, but you can't operate this not until you, you go here show info um, requirements see you need mining upgrades the skill you don't start with but uh, like it says skill book not injected required skill book is not injected you can click that to buy all or you can just right click here view market details and yeah you make sure that like when you see it's over 90 days that means it's NPC. Uh, most time, if you're buying skill books for your own personal use, you want to buy from an NPC because uh, players usually will jack up the prices. You see here, 
in the same station. What the, they're hoping that you know somehow all of these sell out at the station, which I mean I guess it's possible, but not likely. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. I think I got the money. Yeah. All right, right click. I'll buy this. Yep. All right. I'm going to go ahead and buy that and inject it so I can use that upgrade down here. What this does it says it increases the yield of mining lasers but causes them to use more CPU. Your CPU is over here, power grids down here. As you attach and fit things, this will go up and down. As you learn new skills, things will cost less of these. Um, right here in attributes. See, mining amount bonus gives 5%. And I believe that's per level of the skill, also. Yeah, 5% reduction per skill, our CPU penalty for upgrade modules. So, this makes your this thing cost less CPU. Alright. So, I'll open my inventory, Alt-C. There it goes. Right there's mining upgrades. You can train now to level one. What that'll do is automatically inject it and then put it at the top of your queue, or you can hit inject skill. Since my skill queue is full right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put train now to level one and see what happens. I think it'll bump. Yeah, it says you're currently training drones level two. It's asking if you want to move, that if you want to put it ahead of that. Uh, you can have it ask you every time. I, I usually click that. Do not ask me because I, I change my skills. Whatever I'm training a lot. Depend on what I'm planning on doing. All right, yeah, see it put it in the top. It didn't bump that off. You alpha clones can only train up to one day, but I guess since I, I guess the maximum, whatever the maximum here is, one day. So if I put another one day thing down here, it would bump this one off the ground, off the uh, queue. All right, so it'll be an hour and six minutes. So it won't be. Won't be anytime soon. Alright, so you give us that blueprint for the cap boosters. Now, once this loads, there it goes. You just select the cap booster here. See, I've got enough for 10 of them. I actually have enough for 20. Um, Oh, it's from that tutorial mission. So if you haven't used all your minerals, you'll still have enough to actually build this. If you didn't, what you could do is right here, on this circle here, it'll tell you all the minerals you need. You can right click and buy missing materials. And it'll buy from this station if they're available. Uh, which they usually are at most stations. Except maybe when you get out further into low sec and null sec. Um, and you always want to compare, like right here it says total estimated price is 3,581.58 ISK. Now these are available for 2,877 ISK. So I actually will be losing money by building these. I, it would be cheaper for me to buy these. So yeah, go view market. Uh, except there, I'd have to buy these ten and ten from there and then ten from here. Let's see how much that'll cost. Oh yeah, I guess I could have just added a zero. Uh, so that'd be. You have a little calculator here also. Up here, in accessories, there's notepad and calculator. We'll open the calculator. And where did it put? It? Oh, way up here in the corner. All right, so we'll do two two four nine point nine zero plus one six eight nine point nine zero for these ten here equals. So it'll cost me three thousand nine hundred thirty nine point eight. Cancel that. And 
the amount of minerals I'm spending is 3,581. So this is actually lying to me because it's the estimated price. So I'm actually saving money by building them now. That's why you got to check it sometimes because the estimated price is like the average price that the system has noticed. Uh, you have outliers, the prices that are higher and prices that are lower. You, that's why you got to check your station or if you want to fly somewhere else to get them. All right, so it'll take nine minutes, 24 seconds. We'll go ahead and start this. Oh, so I just had to run two runs. There's only two runs on this blueprint. Right here, the darker blue is a blueprint and original. You'll never run out of limits, I mean, run out of runs on these. That's why it has the little infinity symbol here. Uh, the lighter blue with the white in it is uh, a blueprint copy. And they always have a limited run. Now, blueprint copies, the, what you do with a blueprint original, you research them. Uh, you can't research at this career station. I don't think you can at any of the career agent mission stations. But you can find facilities. Let's see, click here. And we'll go, well, let's just say current region. It'll get me a whole bunch. Now, uh, it's, it'll tell you how many jumps away they are and the security system and everything. Like this one right here uh, allows me to research efficiency, uh, well, material efficiency, time efficiency, and copies. I can make copies. Uh, what you do is you can take a blueprint original to this station here and uh, research these things. And what that does is it decreases how many materials you need to build that thing. This one will reduce how much time it takes to actually build it. And what a lot, you'll see a lot of people do is they'll build, I mean, they'll research their blueprint originals fully, which is it's, it's a good idea, Re research them fully, and then you make copies of them. Because with the copies, you can sell them in contracts, which we'll go over contracts in a later episode, or you can, uh, use them right here in invention what invention allows you to do is to try to make the tier 2 tech 2 version of that so say you have a hobgoblin blueprint and you fully research it and you copy it now with that copy you you try to use invention so you can instead of making hobgoblin ones you'll make hobgoblin twos uh, that's the only way to get tech 2 things I, I well there might be some blueprint originals for tech 2 I'm not too sure about that I've never really gotten into that um, tech 2 is where you make a lot of money though in industry so you'll see a lot of people wanting that stuff and that's what you'll use like the salvage materials for and some decryptors and stuff like that you get from exploration alright now I've got six minutes left on this job here so uh, we'll pick up when it's finished. All right, we're back. Uh, our job is finished now. So we'll go ahead and collect this. Hit the deliver button. All right. Close it. And right here. It appears in the first empty spot in your inventory there, your item hanger. So we'll talk to this guy, turn it in. All right. Both those have check marks, so we're good there. Go ahead and complete the mission. All right, made an easy four hundred ninety-eight thousand. All right, next time we'll be picking up on mission seven for making mountains and molehills. Uh, if you haven't yet, please subscribe down below to be kept up to date with any time I release a video. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, please. And if you didn't like it, please give me a uh, thumbs down and uh, post down there in the comments what you didn't like about the video. Uh, if you if you like the video, comment also. You know, I'll, I'll if you have any questions, uh, anything like that. Uh, it's probably the best way to get a hold of me. Uh, I'm notified as soon as I get a comment. So until next time, fly safe.